Hi, friends, foe, family, whoever is out there watching. We are back with the one and only Tiddlywink. Yes, you heard it here first. The amazing series that you all just sit and wait for desperately to get onto your screen. But wait no more. It's here. <gasps> yes, and I'm not alone, unfortunately. I'm with uh, Trooper Matthew. Hello, my friend. Hello. Hello. I would love to say we also had a third, but uh, yeah, as you know, she's somewhere out there in the in the white world. She's having, in the wild. She's she's enjoying life. So uh, I, does that mean we're not enjoying life because we're here? I mean, we are. We we just have different <laughs> values of how enjoying. In, yeah. Okay. I mean. <laughs> We're gonna enjoy something next week. I mean, I'm going to UK. We're gonna meet each other for the first time in like three years. So that's gonna be fun. For so, the regrets. So, hey. <laughs> so, so we are also gonna enjoy life, so to speak. I would say so. Um, but yeah, uh, as you guys know, um, I'm just like, when I'm feeling like building in here, I'm just gonna go in uh, from now on. And that's just kind of like how me and Pooper kind of have made it now that if we feel like it, we're just gonna go in and build. And then yep. that's uh, kind of like uh, what I've just been doing today. Uh, as you can see in the background, as you've been seeing here for the first few minutes, uh, what is this? And uh, yes, what is it? This is gonna be an agriculture uh, center, so to speak. Uh, this is something that me and Trooper just kind of like, uh, we spoke like back and forth on DMs. And then we just kind of like, you know what? I like, like I built this building first of all, and then I said to him, I was thinking about something with stables or like uh, making something out of it inside, and then we went back and forth, and we kind of like came to the conclusion to make it a, a center. Like a, yeah, because you always get these little learning centers dotted around zoos, don't you? Yes, and you then, know, I'm learning about like we could do it like I don't know, like ethical farming or something, you know? Something, yeah, something that could uh, be, uh, how do you say? can learn from it yeah and uh, and then it'll just be a nice little pretty building well that's what I'm gonna try to do of it at least so this first building here was something I was like this looks so good but I was like I don't know what to do with it for now so and that's when I said to you that me and Pooper kind of went back and forth on DMs and we came to this to this thing here so what we're gonna have in here is obviously horses which is gonna be the first thing I'm adding today and then we're gonna have the doll sheeps and then uh, we, uh, was it Warthogs? Yeah, we got some as, as pigs basically, weren't we? Yes, yes those are going to be like uh, the, the pigs. Like, like I, do, I do it all the time, use the dal sheep as normal sheep and boars and we can kind of have a little agricultural farming area, you know? Yes, exactly. And then uh, maybe on the outskirts of the zoo, like behind the walls, uh, like we can actually have farmland so it will actually feel more... Uh, oh, we can totally put uh, Floss's poop shed here. Yes, Perfect. that would actually work uh, wonders here, hundred <laughs> <laughs> percent. Um, so yeah, what I'm basically just doing now is I'm making like the entrance towards into the center here. Uh, I will add more and more eventually. This is like just like a part one, I guess, of this sort of center here, because lots of it were just like. 100% improvising. I was just like, what the freak can I do with this building? Because I don't want to delete it. Um, and I also kind of wanted to mingle it in with all the uh, rest so far already, you know. Uh, since it's a little bit, I guess it's a little bit more modern, stable. Well, this is what you would get though in a zoo, wouldn't it? They would build a, a modern building and they would go, oh, make it look a bit like a barn and be fancy and quirky, wouldn't they? Exactly. So they would like, they would do like a barn, but it would be a modern interpretation of a barn with glass and the things you wouldn't get in a real barn because the cow would walk through it or something yeah yeah that's true i mean it works i guess it works and also with this sort of entrance we do have here it's it can kind of go both ways you know like we it it gives us uh, a lot of different themes that we can go with just because we have this sort of generic entrance you know well and we were going for that kind of like um uh, zoo, a real kind of British zoo, which grew up over time. So they would add this bit when they got a bit of funding, and yes. they would a bit the older bits. Like obviously, my bug house is supposed to be like one of the oldest buildings there. So it's 
very traditional and then you've got this modern like conservation bit on the other side yeah it works that's how zoos grow you know i mean i went to chester zoo not long ago for more inspiration and to go to the zoo and and it is you'll literally like be by a super old concrete building and then next to it is like something built 40 years later you know and they just yeah. don't they don't match you know yeah, I can. Uh, I mean, I was also in Copenhagen Zoo, as I mentioned in the last video too, and they, they were also like you could definitely tell where the old stuff were compared to where all the new stuff is now. Like, there's such a big difference on the architecture and etc. Right? And, yeah. Well, but like they're also this. trying to build all the other old areas into a newer sort of shape and style, which is cool. It's just super rare for a zoo to be built in one go. Most of the time, you know, there'll be the little Victorian bit where it started. Yes. And then over the next 50 years, they've added and added and added and styles changed and building materials have changed. So this makes sense. It does. It does. So they realize that animals don't like a two by two concrete block like, you know? No, <laughs> who the fuck does that? No one, even human does it. I know. So as you can see here, uh, I'm actually like making a little uh, wheelchair access ramp and uh, like for uh, stroll, uh, kid strolls too and stuff, you know, strollers and etc. I like, I like your little ADHD moment where you've just shot off across the zoo and done something completely random. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's kind of like how I just <laughs> do things. Like I'm just going to make flower beds now for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, it looks good though. It does. Like I said, it kind of works as well because I incorporated uh, a wheelchair ramp, didn't I, into the bug house? Yes. So it's, you know, these are the bits where we've got the disability access that was added probably later. Exactly. So they had to, like, improvise. Yeah, exactly. I, that's what I took. Where did the picture come from? I don't remember. I think it was, like, a New York zoo or something. And you could see there was the steps for the original zoo. Oh, really? Okay. And they'd added the ramp on and it was like a different colored concrete and everything. Like it'd been put on like hundred years later. And I had all, all pictures of it and you could see how they'd had to like fudge the doorway now to be wider and stuff. So that's what they do. They add them on later, you know, when times change, standards change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's um. We've got to get Kevin in and make sure your degree of angle is legal. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. <laughs> Never going to have it. So, as you guys all just saw all of a sudden, then on the left side here, there's now a souvenir shop uh, and all that stuff. But that was something I kind of like just, I improvised and I was just like, I need something in there in this hole, but I don't want it to be the main purpose of the whole video. So, I just built something quick and I kind of feel like it matches very well now. Like, everything kind of integrates very well with each other. And then because I knew that I was going to make this ugly ass building in the back here um, where I kind of wanted to have all the animals, everything in it, right? So uh, I kind of like just went with it and kind of tried to make it modern with also not and then just kind of like just figuring out how to cover th the different things the way we go with it. Like today I'm doing the horses and the next time and etc. you know, so yeah. I really, I really enjoy how the axes actually let you do a circle there, and that was rare. People should screenshot that. <laughs> Most of the time, that would be like an oval, which is three meters off when you get to the end. Oh, I did have some uh, struggles, though. I did have some struggles. Oh, you just cut that out. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This makes it <laughs> way more smoother, you know, way better. I had to make some circles the other day. I did it by hand. Bollocks to it. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> um, so... so that round building is that the is that the horses as well, or is that the conservation part of the building? Is that the information, or this is uh, like uh, where um, where they kind of like can sleep? This will be their shelter building, and also where people can read about them. It'll be an informative, and then people can also see them on the outside here, and it will nice. be like an entire roundabout sort of thing um, for the guests to walk around. I love, I love that new conservation cladding you're using too. I use that a lot. Oh yeah, it's just perfect, dude. I love it. Really so, nice. So just doing the basic uh, fence here for the horses, you know, like just a just a normal fence here, and then afterwards I'll just slowly go in and remove the fence uh, or the the uh, habitat uh, fences to uh, just no, not uh, the invisible ones. So here we go, the zero areas. And nice. then um, yeah, and then I just literally just 
after that I just kind of wing things I just figuring out what kind of looks cool what doesn't what can I like and etc and then here we can always think about if we want to make a hole so people can go through this way into it too or if we should just keep it close but that's up for debate we can see when we get pathing around that area going and stuff like that oh yeah I remember everything is uh, is due to change if uh, if it comes to it um, but this is mainly kind of like what I want with this though like I kind of want to have this sort of circle building and then we'll have all these animals inside and they all have their own habitat but if you go inside this specific hall you'll get to see all three animals in one time um, and, and I kind of like as well because it fits as the Shavalsky's horse is um, a big conservation horse so it's like it's been added later and they built this big fancy modern conservation thing yes exactly I felt like that was kind of cool too uh, because a lot of new modern buildings in zoos look a lot like this. You know? mm -hmm. um, with and I kind of feel like the original zoo wouldn't have had the uh, Shavalsky horse because it would have been like a boring horse. It's not. And now they've moved into conservation, you know? Yes, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, it's a. Uh, I'm. Uh, I have pretty cool uh, thoughts about this building here and how I kind of feel like it's going to evolve. Uh, we will eventually also like build sort of realistic. Uh, in like a shelter and stuff for them as I'm doing here now I'm kind of like trying to make some some stable uh, fences uh, they can uh, be in and sleep in and stuff and actually build it inside of here so it's not it's not gonna as I said it's like a one out of three part video this because there's gonna be a lot more added with time in here obviously uh, but for now I just kind of wanted to make the horses kind of like get the building started here so we just get a little bit more uh, life and uh, just a little bit more architecture and etc in here so uh, this is to the left of where i'm going to build a food court isn't it yes see that'd be cool as well to wrap the food court around a little bit so that they can kind of sit and look over and see the horses perhaps from where they're eating that would be super dope man that would actually be super cool yes because there's a lot of zoos do that they kind of like don't don't fully integrate it but they like to put the seating area perhaps where you can watch something you know mm -hmm. yeah there's a Freaking cool coffee shop in Chester where you sit and can watch the warthogs as you have coffee. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. In uh, so. Copenhagen Zoo, they got like a little uh, restaurant almost uh, where you can like sit and just look at the giant white pandas. Oh, that's sick. And it's fucking dope. <laughs> and that habitat <laughs> itself is just so fucking beautiful, man. It's such a cool habitat. That is cool. Like I love that, and I think we could do the same. Just have some tables, and the and the horses are quite nearby. Like you know. Yeah, exactly. And of course, I got. The issue as always. See, what something I, I really wanted to talk about this, right? Because every time I see like these super realistic guys build in this game, I see them have like legit zero space between the, where the horses and stuff or these animals have to sleep, right? Yeah. And I just don't understand. Either way, they just don't use the animals. Like they don't let the animals use the shelter and it's just for uh, for like yeah. aesthetics. I get, I get it if it is. But I'm just like, sometimes I'm like, how can they get these animals to walk around in these small? Because I thought the horses would be able to walk through this as I did here. I'm sure that's smaller than the zebra one though. Because the zebra, the zebra hitbox is actually really small. Because I built a stables in Narnia. And they're about the size of what you'd expect a stable to be. And they just walk straight in. See this? But it's, it's like millimeters, you know what I mean? You like put a pot down, they can't get in anymore. But yeah, you seen these seems to have to be bigger for these guys. Yeah, it's uh, and it, but, but it's just like in general with all the animals. Like I also see people like with the, with the small like uh, uh, all the small animals where they build like these very small little tiny uh, holes they can go into and stuff, right? And then every time I do it, I'm like, what the shit, dude? I have to build like a fucking four times arch for this animal to get through here. Oh, we have, like we have, we have a tunnel for the beavers and this huge because uh, how the mechanics works is that it's the two it's if you got the animal right mm -hmm. and took the took the longest point of them not the widest if you took the longest point and then you made that into a square that's the turning that's how big the space is so of course the beavers got a really long tail right so like we had to make these huge tunnels and the little beaver just sits in the middle of it but like, if you put like one millimeter off, it'll won't fit. And same with that horse; it must have like, like a limousine turning circle or something. Yeah, I don't know. But look at this; you can just see. Oh, okay, I cut it out. But it legit just stopped right at the uh, 
before they went out. So I had to like go in, actually remove the entire gate. So they just had an open field to go in. And then I had to go redo the entire other gates, make them smaller. I obviously did that off camera, right? Yeah. Um, it's weird though, isn't it? It's just super weird, dude. It's like, I'm just like, why? <laughs> But, but one thing I did do uh, good here, though, is that they the animals went in straight away. That was good, though. Like, that's unusual for you. Yeah, I know, right? So that's always something. <laughs> but as you can see here, slowly, like, finishing off the inside here of these, what I did. I also did a little bit of bends and stuff where, they're, like, if the horses get washed, they can always go through down there. And yeah, I like that. Yeah, and then I'm just kind of, like, just trying to decorate up their habitat a bit and making this sort of site from this perspective uh, cool uh, when you see the cinematics at the end you'll get to see like the whole flamingos the hippos and then just it actually already gives uh, a very nice depth to the zoo already and I, uh, I'm a fan of that it really it really looks cool already there was, a, there was a shot earlier on and you were you were looking around the back of it and in the background you just saw a hippo sprint across the, <laughs> the middle of the pond and I was like it's cool yeah because there's already depth and then in the background you see the birdhouse and from that particular angle you kind of already get the feel of it the zoo like exactly yes I really like we put that lake in the middle it just gives a bit of breathing and you can see so much of the zoo yeah it opens up a lot like it, it gives us an, an opportunity to make like just a, a beautiful shot whenever they go in right like we can add so it, many things uh, and as soon as you exit a building you can see other buildings you want to get to it's, yeah it's it's amazing I, uh, I'm glad we did that too 100% yeah so it's, like I said, it's just like so I find a lot of zoos you just don't know where you are most of the time which is fine in real life you can't see anything till you get to the next bit of the zoo but like in a game like this you just want to go wow you know exactly and uh, I think we, I think uh, we, we're, we're doing good with that. Like, I feel like we, um, that was a good move from us. Yeah. Well, like I say I, I want to do a lot of gardening around the edge of the pool. Like, oh yeah. Because I, I went to, I said when I went to Chester, I, I remembered mentioning it, and so I actually got some more reference pictures of just this garden that's around the bug, ha uh, around the reptile house. And again, it just opens that little area up, and you just see the houses sat there in the middle of all these gardens, like. And I was like, that's definitely it. Yeah. Yeah, because again, I took a step back and looked around the trees, and it is just a really boring, blocky building. But you oh. just don't see it, you know, because you got all the trees and stuff. Yeah, yeah, you're right. That's true. Do you know what else I found? What? I found out that um, there's a font on the side of the Komodo dragon's wall, right? They put a big font above all the trees, and it's one of the fonts from Planet Zoo. It's where they got it from. <gasps> oh. But it's the only place in the zoo that has that sign. Wow, Damn. and it's like it's like a, it's that it's that weird cartoony font, you know, the one that's yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. like. I know which one you're talking about. Okay. And I sat there and went, "That's the exact Planet Zoo font." Wow, <laughs> that's just messed up. <laughs> and then and then later on in the zoo, they got a new conservation area, and they had the trellis, the new little, you know, the little four-sided trellis mm -hmm. with the little top. They had two of them. And it was the exact model with the same color. Like when you place it down, it's default blue. And it was the same color and everything. And I was like, that's where they got that from. Wow, okay. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I almost took a picture of it. I was like, that's just a bit lame. Take a picture of a trailer. Yeah, well, <laughs> oh well. <laughs> it's their own game, right? So they can take with their, I guess. Well, it's but... Chester's in San Diego, isn't it? It's the two they use. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> But uh, you guys have seen some cinematics here at the end, friends, and we are also at the uh, very last bit of them here. Uh, Pooper, thank you for joining me, guys. Let us know down below what you think. Give it a like, subscribe for more. Tittle wink, it's gonna be great. Hopefully next time we will have a little bit more stuff and can give you like a little tour. Uh, be cool. Yes. So uh, so yeah, guys, enjoy the last of the cinematics, and uh, we'll see you next time. Enjoy. Bye bye. Great bye there. <laughs> I'm pro streamer now.